Hallelujah. Amen. How many are happy to be in the house of God? Amen. I'm so glad you've welcomed me. You feel happy when you're back home. Amen. I thank God. The one who has protected you. And he has also protected me. Let me request you can have your seats. We are prayed with the children. They, they are about to complete their building and they are painting it. But uh, as I said, it feels so good to be home. When, when you travel, you miss this, uh, you miss this church. Uh, I think this church has the best worship. It may not be the best music, but I say the best worship. They are, there are many other churches with lots of professional music that's on the touch, but this church, when we worship, we touch the heart of God. And that's what I miss. Every time, every time I go, that I miss each one of you. But thank you so much for uh, being available, being committed. I thank God for the pastors, Pastor Tucker, and his wife, and no the family, the pastor, Bukenya Paul, Susan, and your family, uh, pastor, pastor Mage, Raymond, and his wife, and Mage, and family. Family. Pastor Kadoa, what is that? where are the Kadoas? They do a wonderful, a wonderful work in our, in our children ministry. Uh, pa pastor, I'm, I'm trying to remember the pastors. Mm. Pastor Colin and his wife. Musumba Collins, no muchala. Uh, the Kabunga has been here in the morning, but they told me they had to go somewhere. Amen. Mama Wanafa, thank you so much for standing in the gap. You've been, you are such a mother to this church. Mama Wanafa, I have a new mother. I have a new mother. I have a new mother. Um, Opio and your, your wife, thank you so much for what you do. No, Opio, no, my child. I have a new mother. I have a new mother. This church, uh, this church has one of the, the, the most solid leadership I've ever seen. Uh, people have been asking me, how, how come you are going away from the ministry for too long? And my answer was simple, because I can <laughs> when, when you have leaders that we, when, you, when you have a church that does not rotate around one individual you, you, uh, we will keep growing and that's the way we will run this ministry this is what, not one man is sure but we are the church of Christ so much as you you excited to see me back, but you need to be more excited because we, we are the body or the temple of the Holy Spirit. He never leaves. He's always with us. Thank you so much for those of you that have been praying for me. You can feel those prayers. The, when you travel to all those, uh, whatever the, uh, they call them, Western nations, you can 
feel the darkness in, even in the atmosphere. I, I spent ma, most of my time in the state called Washington State. There is such a darkness in the spiritual world. And the church seems to have lost a lot of ground. So my coming to the churches that I've been able to go to I've been such a lay of hope, bringing a word in their pulpit, reviving their hope and telling them it's not, it's not over until it is over. The church of Jesus Christ still lives on. God is still on the throne. No matter what laws they pass in Washington recently, they pass a law that authorizes the government to take your children, anyone below the age of 18. If they want to, if they are boys, if it's a boy and they want to trans, whatever they call it, transgender, what's that stuff? They, they, you want to be a boy and you want to become a girl. And your parents cannot allow you. The government has given themselves authority to take you from the family. You go do your thing, and the government will pay for you and protect you. I've ministered to families whose children have crossed over from being normal to abnormal. And, uh, and, and so the darkness there is so, is so dark. And, and, and those nations are starting to look to the church in Africa. Everywhere I've been, they've been telling me, you need to send us missionaries. I accept him, but he wondering, my, our people... But the, 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 the anointing of nation is upon this church. Um, Solomon and the team they have been in London, but they are coming back this week. God has used them. Musumba Taka Bagambi Dubai. Musumba Taka has been in Dubai. Yabadet against the Kulambula and against the Kubuiriza. He had not gone, but he had gone to minister. God is starting to open up doors to the nations. And so as pastors, our work is easy to so prepare each one of you. Because like it or not, at some point you cross the borders of Uganda. Each one of you. At some point, you go out of this nation. What you take is what matters. What is taking you to the nation? What you're carrying? is what is the most important thing. It is our job to prepare you so that when the day reaches and you're going to know over Belgium, over Swaziland, over Mexico, Mexico. there is a nation called Latavia and even the one called Switzerland. All those nations now think that you cannot even understand. But God is preparing us, anointing us, and the time will come and God will send us to the I thank God. The one who has protected our family. And I want to thank you, people of this church, for caring for my often when I'm not around. Every time she called me, she would tell me. That, that this one brought for me bread. This one brought for me soda. With the pastor. You love us. But what scares us? When we move our, our children and our wives. 
Because sometimes they are not seen. But I want to thank you for taking time and care for our, my family. Amen. Among the people I'm going to end with, I want to thank Muchala Kasozi. Um, she is supposed to allow me to move away from home. And I told her that I will go away from three months and she told me that you can it's a, go. It's a, it's a very big price we pay in the ministry. But I thank you, my wife, for being such a faithful one. Amen. 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 Um, I, had, I had a very good time with friends, people you know and people you have never known. But now that I've been there, they become your friends. Some of us who come here, some of them will come here. But some will not come. And they are friends and they have become part of our family. I've been, uh, one, one of the highlights of my trip has been that I've been able to stay with my to reconnect and spend a lot of time with my spiritual mother. Uh, Mama Shuli, she's a, she's a she was a missionary here for many years. Mama Shuri, I didn't mean Sani She's her, the husband. Our Papa Ron went home Era Papa to, Ron be the Lord, the waka. to be with the Lord. To be with the Lord. But Mama Shuri is still living. Ne Mama Shuri ya chali mula. That's where I've been staying in, in her, house, her house all these days. And she's such a wonderful mother. Era Mama Mulungi Dala. It's been. It's been such a good time for me at my age to be mothered to wake up and someone pampers you. Hey. Yes. It's a, it's, a, it's a great feeling to have a caring mother. And she's a mama Shuri, for those of you that know who she is, She's such a treasure. And uh, so I've, I've been able to spend a lot of time with her. And then I was able to spend some more time with um, another spiritual father to this ministry, Papa Joe, Papa Joe Parker. We had a lot of fun together. And I was able to spend some more time with her. And then I was able to spend some more time with her. And then I was able to spend uh, he's, um, he's getting there in age two, but he's doing st st very strong. Amen. Amen. Well, because we have children, I want to lash this so we can go home. Uh, let's go to the word of God in Luke 5. The book of Luke chapter 5. Those of you that have been added to the church and they listened in, in the last three months. Maybe we, I have not met you or we have not met. I, I am so glad that God brought you to this, to this church. Welcome. Luke 5, 5, 1, the Bible says, so it was that the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that is stood by the lake of Gennesaret. And so two boats standing by the lake, but the fishermen and had gone from them and they were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats which was Simon's and asked him to put out a little from the land and he sat down, taught the multitude from the boat. Simon. 
When he had to stop speaking, he said to Simon, Launch into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. Simon Nadamu Nagambanti, O Mwami, Twateganyo Kokeso Bote, Netuta Kwasa Chintu, Nayo Richi Gambocho, Nasula, Emigonjo. And when they had done this, they caught great numbers of fish, and their net was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' feet, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Simon Peter, we are lover, Navunama could be get a yesu, Nagamba and Tindeka, Kubangans and Dimontu, Adi Navy B, Mukamawangi. I want to talk to you about something many of you have heard from especially those of you that work in the corporate world, in the search world, it's called the networking. 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 So when you, when, you, when you switch on your phone and you go to your setting, it will ask you for network. Like when I, I, I traveled from here, I landed in Amsterdam. I had my Ugandan line. And my, my phone was able to connect and network with the network in, in Amsterdam. I could actually text back to Uganda and call Uganda. Then when I, when I landed in the US, my, my phone was able to connect to another network. And some of you that never stopped calling, we are calling my phone and I couldn't answer because if I answered, I had to have a lot of air time to call back Uganda. All of us are familiar with uh, wi Fi network. When, when you go to your setting on your phone and they ask you which network you want to join. So, networking. Was taken from the Bible. And the church doesn't think that that's a biblical word. But I want, I want to tell you that Jesus, God himself, started the network. He knows how to network everything to work together for good. So what is network? Networking. It's the ability or the art of building alliances, connections, linkages, or building uh, relationships. It has to be an ability that can be developed. For some people, it is a skill. That ability to connect with people you have never met. So that you can find, you can work on your papa, your God-given purpose. Most of us believers have a very difficult time living and, and succeeding in the physical world. 
And we are very connected to the spiritual world. We love God. We pray. We fast and stop. We hear the voice of God. We dream every day. We have eyes to see the spiritual world. And yet in the world where we live physically, we cannot seem to translate what we see in the spiritual world into our physical world. Is God weak? I started asking those questions and I started praying about it. Why did we fast 21 days? And then some of us did not even have money to break our fast. Why did we do 40 days? And another 40 days? And another 40 days? And yet we ended with no rent in our account. Something is missing. And I don't think it is spiritual. Because the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. But you see, you need to look into the Bible. And see what Jesus did that maybe we are not doing. And one of the things God spoke to me when I was traveling is that you, you need to teach the people that God uses people. When the Bible says, I'll open the windows of heaven, the Bible says, the eyes of humans are windows. God uses people. And so let me take you back to the scripture we read. So Jesus is beginning his ministry. He's just beginning. He's been hidden for over almost 18 years. The last time we see Jesus in the scripture is 12 years. He goes back to his family and he stays silent for 20 years. Uh, 18 years. The next time we see him is 30 years old. And the first place we see him is at John Baptist Church. He needed no introduction because the pastor had received a dream and an instruction from God about Jesus. For the Spirit told him whoever you see the spirit ascending on him that will be the one and so when Jesus came and he was baptized the Bible says when he came out of the water the spirit of the Lord came upon him in a form of a dove and from that moment John knew that his ministry had come to an end because his ministry was simple was to declare and open a way for the one who was coming. And so when Jesus came, John pointed to him and told his disciples, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Why would Jesus go to John's church? Because if you follow very closely, the people that God was going to use were John's disciples before they became the Jesus disciples. Are you following me, people? And so Jesus needed to come to John's church. John had to cross his ministry for Jesus to begin. So does God have the power for Jesus to go in the desert and begin from nothing? Yes. He, with the miracle working power, Jesus could go, have gone anywhere in Israel. And people will come running. But he went to John. And John had to baptize him. And John had to make a statement. Crossing his ministry and opening, and opening Jesus' ministry. John said, I must decrease. He must increase. That was the official closure of John's ministry.
Jesus began to preach and he said repent for the kingdom of God is so one of the places he went he went to the lake this is no coincidence he was looking for particular people he was looking for Simon and where was Simon? at the lake and so because when you, when you read this scripture, most people think Jesus went there to do a miracle of, 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 of telling Peter, launch into the deeper and get a big catch. No, the whole scripture here is about Jesus finding Peter. His first disciples, he found them fishing. And what caught my attention is verse 2. These fishermen had been, had been fishing all night. And they caught nothing. So in the morning, they decided to wash their nets. Nets, everyone say nets. That's where the word network comes from. A net, how many people have ever seen a net? A fishing net. A fishing net. It's, it's, um, baluka buluke, muluzungu kuluka chichi. Hmm? Yeah, it's like weaving them. Yeah, but it's a, a bunch of, 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 what I, what do you call those things they make nets out of? You have to network them in a way that when you throw them in the, in, in the lake or the river, the fish will try to go through them, but the fish will be caught. So networking is supposed to be like that. Everything we pray for, everything we desire, everything we pray, uh, we ask God for. God creates a net that works. And that net is supposed to be a bunch of people God brings in your life. I say God brings in your life. God cannot network with angels. God networks with humans. He puts them at every point of your need. At every corner, there is someone waiting for you. God designed your life in such a way that when you need someone, someone already has something that they can share with you. When you need a miracle, you need this net for things to work. It's called network. A net that works because there are other nets that do not work. And some of you are, 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 are caught in this cycle of relating to people who have added nothing, zero value for you on you for the last five years. You, you start moving with a, a boyfriend who has no, no eyes to see the future, no idea what they want in life, no dream, no vision, no desire. They just watch movies. And you think you, those boys will take you anywhere. Nobody boyfriend. And you have a girlfriend whose only idea in life is about food. And you stay with them five years. And all you have, restaurant, you have loan for food. And you come back to Abusing God. Your net is bad. You just swim in, through it and go. God is not weak. So these people, at the time, because they caught nothing, they knew 
that we needed to wash the net. And when Jesus needed to do a miracle, guess what he uses? He tells Peter, Peter, Take the same net and this time launch them deeper. We use the scripture to, and we spiritualize it to mean that we need to pray more. But that's, what the, that's not what the scripture says here. Jesus said, get it, it was a physical boat. And there was a net, a real, a real net. Jesus showed them, go from the lower waters and go deeper. You know when we preach from the same scripture? Go deeper. You've done 20. Do 40. You've done 40. Do 100. You've done how many nights? Now do the whole month. All those things work. I've been with people who have never fasted. And I don't, I don't think some of them will ever. And I've been comparing. I tell God that for us we fast. You can fast. And even fast for you fast. Fast. But some do not fast. And every time the time for praying reached, Pastor Kasozi, you be the one to pray. <laughs> and I've prayed for them. When you tell them to pray, only two minutes. Two minutes. And he has been the prayer and it is done. But for us, when they give you a microphone to pray for them, you can, you can the great I am, the one God who was and is, the ancient of days, you are the one, and you are the only one. Don't you know the scripture says that now my father, you are going to do what no man can do. Yes, because you can. I declare and declare. And I'm not discouraging prayer. But prayer that has no ability to relate to the physical world where we live will leave you as weak as you came. Praying. Oh, praying. 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 After praying that you think that God is not working. And these people in the physical world, they use the things here and they, and they succeed. Not, not and you start admiring them. Amen. The thing called networking. God took himself and divided himself among all of us. We can all point at ourselves and say he lives in me. But you need to understand you are not the only one with him. He's in each one of us. There is a portion of him in each one of us. Are you understanding? Because him? some of you think that God is only alone. No. And even the young children he dwells there. And even the wife he dwells there. When you learn to listen. And even those that God is not there, God is, there. God is everywhere in each one of us. And for you to get a whole picture of God, you need to get a whole bunch of us and put us together and relate. Picture God is trying to paint for you. And so Jesus found Peter. 
And after giving him a miracle, he told him, now follow me. But the miracle was, when they lowered their net, they were able to catch. Could the fish have died naturally and Jesus brings and they float on the top? Without them casting their nets deeper. It is possible God can do it. But God said, let me use their net. The Bible says that they, that net comes. And they don't want to tear. And they told their, their friends. You come and help us. And they were who did what God was saying. And they got from this one who had what Jesus That's said. how life is supposed to work. Jesus speaks to you. He uses the relationship you have built around you. And then even the relationship beyond you can be blessed because of a big catch God brings in your life. And the problem, as I said, most of us don't have any network around us. It is you and yourself. It is you and yourself. The only people in your life is your mother. And so they are in the village calling that I'm sick. The toy is about to collapse. And you may saying that I'm still hustling. In the village, there are men that construct toys. But for family, there is no one that you know that has constructed the toilet. You don't know no one that can come and help your parent even though you are in town. Because we are the born again of Uganda, two from background. Men lost in, in Uganda you move from background. Which, is, which are so poor. And that obwa, obwa, yes, we have. It is called poverty. You, you, you get to a place where you think that it's you and only you. yourself that will produce your breakthrough. You, you need no one. one. You don't need anyone. You can do, your, you can do it yourself. Let me tell you something. Hey, you need everyone. You need everyone. You need the children. You need the pastors. You need the believers. You... If you want to know that you need people, you, you may make a budget for a wedding. And you make it with a wedding. But when you want to distribute you know what most do? They come to Musumba Taka. I'm requesting that this budget, that you promote it for me. And you call people for me. And that's which people and that is what Use, using, using people. people. And it's actually you misusing people. It's a form of manipulation that, that now that you have come to a place of need, you needed us. No, you didn't need us. Need us in the past. But now that the need has come, so you need to find a way to use people in leadership so you can get to the last man you don't grieve so that you can get their money. I'm just giving an example. When I first came in my, six, my first six months, I'll never forget this. There was a wedding in this church. Two weddings in the same month. One brother had been a member and his family was present in this church. Very active. So when it was time for him to wed, they, we put him on the pulpit and we said, we, whoever was leading, I don't remember who, he said, let's give a big offering to their wedding. And the whole church lined up. And the giving, I think, was around three million. Which was a lot of money from Kawimpe Worship Center then. Two weeks later, there was another brother. We did the same. 
I, I saw this coming. He stood here and they put a basket before him. And people lined up and they brought money. When we went to the office to count, it was 30,000. And, and I told the people in the office that brother is going to walk away from this child. If you give him 30,000, you better take from the offerings and the tithes and top it up and give him some decent money. He did the mistake of bringing someone on the pulpit who does not relate to anyone in this church. And you want people he doesn't agree to give him money? That's, there is no miracle there. God uses nets. And nets are made by men. Nets are cleansed by men. Nets are, are, are washed by men. I'm just saying. God. God. Si agendo kujoga abuza muliruwa nao. Mukole komu kwanu. That you befriend him. That is called network. It's your, your responsibility. Chitekeze nkwa ataka nilabu funanyi zibuwabu. Elaba sumba. And the pastors. Nibi tuwa itu gendo kola wiki utu. Ya habi kola sete tuwazi kwa tantuzi wono ya liya gendo kuwasa. We are going to do the, that, that week. We don't do them. We go to that man so, and give them to the brother. That, from that day. It is me who stood and told the pastors. Ya imi ya nengamba wa sumba. Never do an individual fundraising for anyone in this congregation by putting, him, putting them here. Why? Because some people have more networks than others. Those we, if you, I have an, enough network, I don't need the pastor to stand me here. I will walk to each one of you individually and you will come to my wedding. Why? Because you know me as a friend. I don't need the pastor to promote me. But the one that is not good Yes, Rakubasumba. And you want to touch Let me give you the pastor. good news about the pastors. We are always broke. And we are always busy. And I've seen some people losing their Do you know the person that is the pastor? I can go and bury on your behalf. But for me to make it to make it first ask that who has died. And I start. You know this brethren. The one who is usually sits there. You are a shirt. Sebo, we are not going to be able to Explaining on your behalf. But there is someone that he has got a problem. The pastor they are the last to know. Even when all the brethren have gathered. Why? Because he built a network with people. God uses the nets. You supposed to build your nets. And you make it. And you put air time in there. And even going out in WhatsApp. And even fast for them. And, them. How are you? and ask them, How are you? I pray for you, Kasaba, Fried Kasaba. Relationships are cultivated. So, networking is more like farming than hunting. But most people in, in, in these areas of Kawempe, most of, most of us are hunters. A hunter will go out for a meal a day. They don't think about tomorrow. As long as they can eat um, the next meal, their world is settled. But if a farmer thinks ahead, five years, ten years, twenty years, they are looking for something sustainable. Mungo bere abuluganda. Katindi kuba somoza wa no. I'm challenging you. I think that God is going to do. Is going to ask you. 
to cast your net. But the question is, do you have it? If you have it, how many people does it have? That we and my family no longer come near the people. Me and my family would not watch the people. We 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 would not But time will reach when you are in front of God and tell him that you have tried all night but you do not catch any. And say to, that you get the people you have Over it. and you call them. <laughs> About five years ago, I don't, I don't usually want to tell stories about my family. But let me say this. About five years ago, me and my wife, we really needed a house. Very badly, we needed a house. We started, we stored on the foundation. But there was a, the, the pastor job I told me that I, I shared with a friend, a friend who I personally know, because I've been to their house. And they expressed a desire to help you build a house. So they, he said, I'm going to invite her to come. When she comes, she will see with the kind of house the kind of house you are building, and she will help you. So we, that year, she made, she made an appointment to come, but she canceled at the last moment. But we, so we waited another year, and she came. I remember taking her to, to the house where we are building. It was, it was raining, so we never even came out of the house. Of the car. But she said, I like this area. And she said, I don't have money. But we will find a way to help you. There are two ladies in that car. So they used to talk back going to the guest house where they are staying. And they used to ask me a question How many people do you know? I said, I don't know. I know a lot of people. My Facebook says I know 5,000 people. Facebook My WhatsApp tells me I know a lot of people. I said, but how many of those people are your friends that have known you for the last 25 years? And I said, a lot of them. So she said, we are going to call them together for a dinner. And I said, all right. They went home for the next three months. They started preparing a fundraising dinner. And I remember flying from here and I went. And I told them, thank you for the idea of a fundraiser. But in our ministry, we don't fundraise for individuals. So let's build a school. Let's fundraise for school. We do not find raise money to build a churches, school. We build churches, schools. We say that no problem. We are going to put here down that the house of a pastor. So, we had that meeting. We agreed, not mentioning my name. It was a Thursday, and we had a meeting. And the fundraiser was, uh, was at, at, at Friday at 6. And we went, and the room was full to capacity. People who knew Robert and Robina. There was none from Kawim. All these people were Americans. I had known them for the last 25 years. We counted 150 people. So I remember Pastor Joe, he stood up and said, we have a list of things we are going to fundraise for. But before we go to any other item, we want to build Robert and Robina's house. And let me tell you something. Every one of those people stood up and they started clapping their hands for about five minutes. And they all said, yes, yes, yes. 
I've never seen anything like that. And they gave. And those of you that wondered where we got the money to build the house, it is from that network. That network, uh, it took 150 people. But where did they come from? 25 years of relating to each one of them, going to their houses, some of them coming to my house, they became friends. I remember going to their houses with my wife and wake up and scrub their toilets and scrub their floors and they told us, this is your family. After cleaning their floors, we didn't know that even pastors can do that. Come back anytime. I can tell you, my friend, I can go for here and I will never rent. Why? Because over the last five years, over the last 25 years, I start, we started building a net. That now, all those friends are now scattered. There is one in Florida, there is one in California, there is, California. There is, they are everywhere. I'm telling you people, when God wants to give you a miracle, he will ask you for your net. And once you represent a, a clean net, he will tell you, launch into the deep. What were the disciples doing? They had gone out of their boat cleaning their nets. I want you to think about it. How many relationships have you suffered, suffered in the last many years? And you have never looked back. You have never apologized. You have never even put in any effort to go back and build the bridges that you broke. It sounds like Isaac Newton said, it sounds like in our time there are more walls that there are too many walls we are building than bridges. Isaac Newton bridges. Bridges. What are bridges in Uganda? Uganda. But most people, most people, after crossing a bridge, they burn it. I don't like this one. I've left that church. Me, I go back to the churches where I came from. I still have people I know there. I still relate to them. Let me tell you something, people. For your success, after prayer and fasting, God will ask you to launch deeper. And sometimes when God says launch deeper, he's not telling you that go back to prayer. He's saying go and collect your friends. Start a saving circle. I know some of you are here. We have friends. When you've lost someone, all of you gather you so. What you can collect is to, to make that dead body to go on the border border. I'm not saying that it is bad, but let me tell you, network. It's supposed to be having every culture. There must be pastors. Abba, 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 Happy. Those who are crying. Just who has died. All those who need them. Some of because, because we are not healthy. 
spiritually we are wounded in our spirit we don't know how to relate you don't know how to be in a proper relationship when you get a friend when you are a woman and you get a man who is, who is your friend you think and that is your brain is corrupted what you know is not what God knows. When you start those things. When you start those things. When you think that every man because is it is who we are. We, are, we cannot be of boyfriends. We are servants of the Most High. Stop collecting us in your evil basket. Just because I, I laugh with you and I, I, I you, you need to understand when I when I stand you see me but behind me there is a network of people that you don't even see when you connect with me you connect with my family you connect with my friends you connect with every relationship I have so when I come to your meeting I'm not alone I am full of the Holy Ghost Heaven is behind me. So you are inviting me, but you are inviting a whole world that I live in. But if you see me as I am now, you just go have like eight tuckers. meeting you. Abasabibo no balese. Kawempe wa shipu sento jilese. Mumu ntu ogu. Omu nga tunde mu meeting yo. Seated in your meeting. Nea basinga katibyo temu bidabo. Olaba muntu. Olaba kasati. But some of you don't see that. We just see someone. Let me tell you some. Every one of us represents a constituency. Buli omu kufaile sazali achikirida. When you see me. Wondaba. I'm not alone. Sidi nzeka. I'm not alone. Sidi nzeka. If you want to know, you go at the police. They arrested us in two hours. Police the police was full. And the policemen said that you move this one from here. Who is this one? And even the and this one has reached. We called up to the DPC. The DPC we are to the DPP. The the And the phone you from every corner. Police about and the coquette on the Lomusum of Nagamunang, Singa take about the Mateka, go with the Musumba do the Yaka, and there are apologies. Guani, who are you? Because they have removed the children, that when he started coming, never moves a who are you? And they are saying that they are they are they are they are they are even the phone, the, our phones can't go off. It's a network. But do you know that they can arrest you? And police. take you to the police. And they remove your phone from you. And they and they the you to know that you have been imprisoned. Hey. But there is someone. He has been made, made to stand. They stand people's country that what is here. What is here? But for you, they can arrest you for two months. Three months. Yet yeah, the law say that they are supposed to release you in 48 hours. But because you are alone in the world, you created the world and you are alone. I'm challenging you this morning, this, this afternoon. 
Those things you are on, they are not the best. There are some people that are better than you. And you need to look for them. Connect with them. Let them challenge you. Let's speak in your life. For the last three months, I've been challenged. I've faced people who have come into this church and visited our ministry and they took me aside and they told me so when I came to your church you do this and this and that why? and I have to give honest answers and I have to give honest answers and I have to give honest answers Miaka, umazemeka mchacheno. You have spent how many years? Umazemeka? Ejo jio umazewan. Te wali muntu ya liyafu de mchacheno na jamu nyumba yu na anyuwa mchai. There is no person who has ever moved away from church and come to your home. Wademukalu tali musukali. Ovana aliyamu mugati. Ovana achara na malawi da chikasaki. Even coming at your home for three minutes. Duo olivo gendo kuanjuzo vo kuanjula. When you are going to wait, do having an introduction. O ino kusimbe vito oke. There you need to plant bananas and even put a hand arrow. Which dialect us where you live yet we pray with you. Hey. We don't know that when you get a problem here oh, you, you are among us but you are alone. I'm challenging you. Yes. Jesus. When he came he called Simon Peter. The next verse said that Peter took Jesus at his yes. side. Jesus saw him doing the mother and no Peter was sick, and he healed him. Peter, ha. Peter was when you get your you take him to, you, to your home. I mean, I'm challenging you born again of power. The thing that we are going to do. A lot of money is not here. We are supposed to look for boats. Maybe I need they are about to turn. And remove some of the fish which are there. So that we can use the cathedral in the name of Jesus. There are people who have abandoned. You need to find them. You need to relate to them. That morning, calling yourself a poor. It is not going to remove you from that box of the enemy. Go away from that box of death. Go away from that man going to the man of death. That because you bought a flat. Hey. 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 One time Jackson told me that your house is so big and took her to the water. I said, you know, By the time she came back, she was told that her house is small. Because they are at her home. That is our world. For us, we think that our world it is the only world. After when we went to the world, and we saw people, houses they are clearing copita, and some they are building like sheep, and some they are like hillprints. In the house and you wonder if this one is the one. Those people who are not the ones 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 who are not the Yes, ya gamba bugamenti chizibuko. 
Jesus said that it is, to have it, is ha- it is impossible. But it is very it possible, is it is possible to have enough resources and lift the rest of your network. You have friends you need on one person. To come and make the million is worth 100 million. When you are sharing sick people to want to see you fast more. Say amen. I thank God when He gave me wisdom. In my life, I do not despise anyone. Everyone is important. Whether he digs, whether he digs. He's an important person. And there is a bank that I usually go to. Do you know my first friend? Security guard. He's the security guard. The one who sits on the desk. And even checks you. And even sanitizes you. For me, those things, they no longer... When I reach him, they say that my <laughs> boss was saying, and he enters the end. How have you been? Because when I come... How is your family? family Where are you from? Ovawa. Nambulira. And he told me, and I entered. That I have family. And told him that he has a family. I know that in a the month they pay him 150,000. And I move away from the bank. And I give him 150,000 note. Hey! And when other they are checking them for my bank. Checking network. The one who checks me is in my network. I entered him by force. But I'm the boss. When I go in the bank, those tellers, those tellers who work when the, when they, go, when they, go, when they, they start laughing, smiling. When they see me, they start laughing. When the line is long, they ask me that I Let me fill this one and you come. In the law of the bank, it is not allowed. But in my network, it works for me. Hey. You just build networks. Even if I fast for 30 years. And the security guard, I do not greet him. They will check me and even check me underwear. You have to learn how to network. You have to learn how to network. They ask me that where do your wife go? It is not for, for free. It is not for free. Jesus bought some, I also buy some. <laughs> they are saying that a person you give him 30,000. Transport ya week a jikavali. Know that he has covered the transport for the whole week. The one who works in the bank. They will never forget it. You go back, they know your name. Oda ya manyeri nyari ya bali tegera. And sometimes they call me and tell me that musumba yo lost. Because I don't ask for their phone numbers, but they get my number. There is someone who called me and told me that I moved away from Abyss and I've gone to another bank. And another one told me that I've moved away from Forex and I've gone to the airport. Amen. Oh, the, the, the other thing need to be added 40, 40 days. days. 40 days need to be when you're here. You After from hearing from, from God, declare God. another 40 days of hearing from people. Forty days of reaching out to friends. Get 40 days Revive every daily relationship. Call people that you have not heard from. 
Some need only 10,000. And because they are told that I have just remembered you. Jesus. The one who wanted to make him a king. He just gave him food. They just ate bread. And after. They gathered on that day. And they made a meeting. And they told him the government of Kayafa. And even Pirat. We have removed you. And we have pressed you as a king. You are the king. We want, because they wanted bread. When Jesus knew them, they raised They looked for him the whole night. And the morning they landed the And they gamba, told him. They made something for you. Jesus told them that you do not love and Jesus showed them that you do not love me, but you love food. Idea of freedom. And the idea died from there. People develop ideas. When you feed them, raise on your feet. So, all oh, Jesus' life, up to now, Jesus is a networker. Let me say this. Networking is not for now. Networking for the, is for the future. The next thing you know, you can't do it alone. Whatever it is, you can't do it alone. You need people. And you need them in numbers. No one knows everything. So tell yourself, I don't know everything. I need those who know more than I do. And you always need external input. At whatever, at whatever, at whatever project you are doing, you need some input from others. And that has been lacking. You are going to go back. Those friends that died in your lives. And you repent. And tell them that I'm sorry. They want us to talk again. And At the next praying. I'm going to, to tell you to pray that you go to remove all those things that chase us our friends. People love you, but you're not lovable. When they make you to come near them when you enter the bathroom, you make the bathroom dirty. There are some things that you have to do. Leave my bathroom. Go in yours. And the dining, you leave my bathroom. I'm saying, let none issues be, let, don't let them.
They don't want to work, they stay all their time on phones. They don't know how to cook. But they want to get married. You close those in the name of Jesus. She, immediately she entered the house, she started backbiting those that spent years. I know Taka will. For me, I've spent with me for two days only. You know so those in the name of Jesus. You need people who see value in others. If your friends are too low to discuss people. Talking about people. Run. Walk away. Bring people that have an, an eye for the future. Who can articulate things for you? Who can interpret pictures for you? Who can take your vision and make it practical? People who but you, you have spent five years and well, your problem is that oh, oh, when you wake up when you wake up that the first thing you Asen has bought in that, that, thing, that thing is going to help you what when you are sleeping hungry money you take down guru hey those things so that you told wali that in these five years that we are collecting money and we buy land that we share it among ourselves we gather five cows. So let us gather five cows. 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 Let us gather five and he teaches us about the opportunities of investment. But some of you think that you are bewitched. Net to be clean. I pray for the name of Jesus. I pray for the name of Jesus. That the next six months of 2023, may the Lord open your ears to hear. May the Lord open your eyes to see. May the Lord give you wisdom to understand. May the Lord give you the ability to connect to the let to network to engage people that are going to see value and help you go from this low level to a higher level where victors live, where champions thrive, where victory is easy to come. I pray in Jesus' name that the Lord will open doors. To, for you to, to relate with people. I pray for divine connection. And I pray that when you see it, you shall see them. I pray in Jesus' name. I break the spirit of rejection. I break the spirit of rejection. I break the spirit of rejection of your life. People forget you. People don't want to relate to you. I break the spirit of rejection. I break the spirit of this favor and I speak favor over you. May the Lord bring back your, his favor on your life. May the Lord connect you and bring you into a network of those that fear his name, of those that have purpose in life.
Wevale Yesu Mukama. Tukweva Zakaba Kawaba Kabaka. Tugenda Kudam to Zimbe Mikwano. Twene Nyokubanga Bala to Aba Sula. Evigambo via Fabia to Jakaba and to Okubage Yakwaba Goba. Echo Choku Gaya to Chego Bambulinia Yesu. Echo Choko Gera Kuban to Chego Bamo. Echo Chobutaga Labala to Chego Bako. Kubanga Chitu Jakaba and Tuabo Mogaso. Sabadachi Kasato Chigambe and Tioyoke Genda, Wichoichi Chamu, Echecho Queya Gala, Echecho Clothes and West Sobola, Echo Taya Galabala, Echo Kuyomba Yomba, Echo Kukea, Echo Echi Chamu Echo, Molinaria Mukama Fayas, Tuchiko Bonaco Lualero, Obuzeze, Obutu Jacame Kwan Ejigasa, Eje Tukolera. Mumakaga fe, Mobitundu Jetuvera, to be a Gobako, Molinaria Yesu, Aboluganda Sivalaba, Onai Dachikem, Onai Dachikem, Yoko Sabira, Ovako Woody Day, Mukama in Zabio Na, Kueva Zakaung is the Kolo Alero, Kueva Zakubango Kole Vinene, Tuna Damane to Funo Koganja, Kadwe, Weko, the Kokoganja. We call the Coco Ganja, decree favor over you, Gamma Pito, Kuganja Kulamu Wang, Lord, I call for Nadamune Jagari Bua, Abag and Abana Daman Eva Koma Walk, Molinaria Mukama for Yes, Weber the Yes, thank you, Jesus, Kuvira Yes, and Galezama for Jesus. Younger of Kuvira Yes, and Galo Olumu. Somebody has to come. Until you that greet them. That's how you see that there are people who are still having something that is When somebody doesn't want to greet their neighbor. Greet some three people. Speak and converse with them. But networking, you wait for people. That you, uh, networking, you need people. But you are there only hiding your heart. Start with them. Start with those ones. Start with those ones. Start with those ones. Start with those ones. And ask them who are you. She will tell you that I am the director. Who is the director? Who is the director? Who is the director? Hallelujah. Amen. Do it in two and three minutes. Nadala Gola Banga Tabi Faka, Alibu Vinyo, especially that one who is not uh, Alibu Vitala, is bad love. Network, network, Munetuaking, eh? Let you network. Ah, Mubuza Manya Gujavira, Okolirawa, ask them the, what they are doing. O Sulawa, Rimuana, where, where are they res having their residence? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You need to get time and uh, have a call. No for you pray with us 10 years. And in a church you have you don't have even, even 10 people who know you. You. When it's only the pastor who knows you. Have a conversation with them for more 14 seconds. But the pastor just goes out. Huh? Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Gaka, Bulimoya, Akurida, and Yoyo, and more with your good dwell. Wealth is within that person who is next to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you are looking for open doors, open windows. That person is your open door. I remember when I was stuck. I was stuck there in Jinja. But because I had networked, we made friendship. When I went to high school, I became friends of these four. I became friends of Pastor Solomon Mayanja. By then he was called Mayanja Solomon, not a pastor. And Sonko Wilson. And Julius Chintu. 
But those people have become something in my life. Through my angel Solomon, many doors have opened for me. Okay, my angel Solomon. You don't want to greet others. Hallelujah. Amen. Gamba Amina. Say amen. When you mean the Matande, converse. On Friday, friends of the Holy Ghost. On Friday, friends of the Holy Ghost. On Friday, we are going to sleep over here. Friends of the Holy Ghost. It's going to be splendid. We are going to stay over here on Friday. It's going to be wonderful. People are flying from overseas. Others from America. In the UK. Nairobi, Kenya. From Nairobi and Kenya. Let me 